Okay. So when doing a problem like this, again, guys, we just need to find the period, the amplitude, and then determine if there's reflection, which is not. Um, there's no horizontal translation, so we're good. And there's no vertical translation, so we're good. So let's just find the period and the amplitude. Period. Absolute value of A. There's no number in front, so we know it's absolute value of 1, which is 1. That's not the period. That's the amplitude. I guess I shouldn't have talked so fast. That's your amplitude. The period is 2 pi over B. Remember, B is the number that's in front. So we're going to have 2 pi over 2 pi. which is equal to 1. Then, remember, we always want to take our, find our four important points. So our four important points are your period divided by 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph it. Um, our amplitude is going up to 1. So let's up 1, down 1. It goes as far as 1. So it's going to take, going to 1 is going to complete one cycle. Then we need to break it up into four important points. Well, the distance of our first important point is one fourth. One fourth plus one fourth is two fourths, which is one half. And notice, guys, see how this one doesn't have pi? And that's okay. Sometimes you're going to have spacing that's going to deal with pi. Sometimes your pi's cancel out, so you're not dealing with pi. Next one, and plus another one, is going to give you three fourths, and this will give you four fourths, which is one. So I see how that works. Okay, um, we know that the cosine graph crosses your y-axis at one, so it's going to kind of start here, and we know it's going to end here. On uh, the four important points, you have two intercepts, and you have a minimum point. And I believe that's everything I have, right? So I'm just going to connect my points. All right, and then if I just want to continue for more periods. 5 over 4, 6 over 4, 7 over 4, negative 1 4, negative 2 over 4. Does everyone follow me? And then you just can keep on continuing. Okay? Just remember, guys, you know what the cosine graph looks like. Remember, these go on infinitely to the left and to the right. But just remember, you know exactly what your parent graph looks like, and that's going to help you out. All right? Cool? Amazing, isn't it? So much fun? Yeah. So you guys just tell me you just want some practice on your own. You're like, you know what? Just give me this homework quiz.